Great seeing you back for Devos today, and we are continuing with this subject matter of having a nurturing environment. Now remember, if your whole life is about making money and building up your home and you're going towards your retirement, listen, those things, I, I call it cute. Those are nice. It's okay. But this helping people, nurturing people along, letting God use you in other people's lives to grow in Christ is the best thing that you can do. Now look with me here. Uh, Romans chapter 15, verse 2. Let each of us, and notice, this is for everybody, please his neighbor for his good and to build him up. Okay, this is pretty tough. Do you know most people don't get along with their neighbors? They'll have some neighbor across the street or next door. And they can't stand each other. You know, the Bible says that we're to have a servant's heart. And the Bible says, and especially as believers, we ought to be building these people up. I, I had something funny this week. Uh, one of our neighbors, they're, they're always kind of grabbing from us all the time. And so they were asking for special favors not long ago, wanted all these things from us. And at first I was going to say no, and then I thought about it. I thought about this. And I thought, you know, I'm supposed to build my neighbor up. You, you want to be, as a Christian, the best neighbor, the most encouraging neighbor. You always talk about how good their lawns look and about their new vehicles. And you talk good things about their children. Build people up. Encourage them. So nurturing we're talking about today is all about encouragement. Now look at me in 1 Thessalonians 5.11. He says, therefore, notice here, encourage one another. And build one another, each other up, as you are doing. So, meaning your whole life ought to be building up other people. Don't walk around and say, why isn't somebody encouraging me? Even if you're in a dark valley right now, even you might be in the middle of a divorce, even though you just got fired from the job, listen, you need encouragement. But if you're a good Christian, you'll want to encourage other people while you're in the midst of all those troubles and problems. Now, listen, there's something else we want to encourage people with. Did you know that most people have like an invisible ceiling above them? Did you know most young people, if they grow up in a home where mom and dad make like $10 an hour all their life, in most cases, those kids will make about $10 and stay in that realm. Okay, but if you can get them to believe that their ceiling is much higher through encouragement, then they'll go much further in life. Because people have self-imposed limitations. Listen, when people are encouraged by you, they can face impossible situations. Uh, look, look let, let's go on down here to uh, Romans 15, verse 5. May the God of all endurance, you like it? I like it, endurance. And encouragement. Listen, you can endure if you are being encouraged. Okay, grant you to live such harmony with one another and in accord with Christ Jesus. You know, they found that a psychologist did this test. They had these people put their feet in a bucket of freezing ice water, and they were in separate rooms. And there was something they were trying to find out. They found out, they gave one or a couple people, somebody in the room cheering them on that they could do it. They were able to keep their feet twice as long in the bucket of water than anyone else. Okay, what's that tell you? Look what it says here. We have the God of all endurance. How do believers endure some of the things in which they go through? Because of this, they have the encouragement that's given by their brothers and sisters in Christ. Now, wouldn't you like... Them coming up to you one day in heaven say, wow, I made it through that thing because you encouraged me. Now listen, I, I, I want, I, I, you want to help people to the place where you say, one day I want you people to come to me and one day and say, I didn't quit. I didn't throw in the towel. And I, I wasn't left in the middle of that situation, but I made it through to the other side because you encouraged me to hang in there. 